Another thing that's important to do in uh, in perspective is just to be able to draw receding planes freehand without respect to any sort of horizon line or vanishing point, as if they're sort of floating in space. Um, and the basic rule of that is that uh, if if uh, if you're dealing with a uh, right angle figure such as this, um, when it recedes in space, you can see here that at any given point, the lines that are receding are going to eventually come to a, a vanishing point. Um, so that means that if we draw a plane like this, that uh, eventually these lines, if we extend them out far enough, are going to intersect. And these lines, if we extend them out far enough, are going to intersect. Um, so what will happen if you mess this up you have no longer drawn a uh, right angle. So let's say you have these two planes and they're gonna, these two lines and they're gonna go out uh, and, and eventually intersect. What if we draw one here and then one here? They're not going to intersect as they go out into the distance. They're gonna intersect here. And this is what we call divergent perspective. And this is something to keep in mind um, for later that you can start to twist and bend the rules of perspective um, by using divergence. I think uh, Mark Chagall does this a lot in his paintings, um, and you want to check those out, Mark Chagall. Um, yeah. So you can kind of see how this might even be like a curved plane, rather than this, which you'll perceive as a, uh, a flat rectangular figure receiving space in two directions. Um, so just take your intuitive sense, make planes recede in space, be loose, don't be fussy. Um, there's no real rule about this, you just have a lot of tools to work with, like Glenn Vilpew says, make sure you do some that are, uh, that are very narrow seeming, um, make them kind of twist and bend if you want. So that's a good approach to begin to uh, understand directly how these planes work.